weather from where you live. We had rain showers and thunderstorms pass over the area last night and left about 39 hundredths of an inch of rain in Lafayette. Closer to 22 hundredths down to our south in Crawfordsville. And we had one report of three tenths of an inch in Chalmers with the lightest total in our northeastern counties around Rochester coming in at a tenth of an inch of rain. But we had a cold front pass over the state as well. That's what brought us the rain showers and thunderstorms. Now we're left with mostly cloudy skies. There are clear skies just off to our west associated with an area of high pressure. That higher pressure is going to track east and help break up the cloud cover later on this afternoon. For now, we're at 46 degrees. Skies are still overcast. Winds are out of the west-northwest at 14 miles per hour and temperatures are in the mid to upper 40s. It's 47 in Delphi, 46 degrees Lafayette, 48 to our south in Covington. We're going to stay dry for the first part of the week until we reach the middle part of the week where we have our next round of rain showers that will arrive late Wednesday night and temperatures will also continue to rise through the first half of the week and then cool off after that system moves out. And as we wrap up this work week, temperatures will be in the 50s once again. But looking at the after school forecast for today, 52 degrees around 4 o'clock and then 53 by 5. Winds will be out of the northwest between 10 to 15 miles per hour. We'll have decreasing cloud cover skies turning partly cloudy later on this afternoon. Highs will be in the lower to mid 50s, reaching a high near 55 in Crawfordsville, 50 in Rochester, and 52 degrees in Fowler. Starting up our future cast today at noon, you can see the cloud cover that is still lingering across the viewing area. It's going to break up this evening. Skies turning partly cloudy and then mostly clear during the overnight hours. The clearing skies will allow temperatures to plummet into the lower 30s. We'll have a low of 32 degrees in Lafayette, dropping near 31 in Winnemac, Rochester, and 33 degrees in Kokomo. And then tomorrow, temperatures will be slightly warmer, rebounding into the upper 50s, lower 60s, reaching a high of 58 degrees in Monticello, 58 in Burlington, and reaching a high of 58 degrees as well in Lafayette. Skies are going to turn mostly sunny, and it'll be slightly warmer. That area of high pressure that will provide us with the dry weather conditions through the first part of the week will continue to push east, bringing us mostly sunny skies throughout your Tuesday. It isn't until we get to Tuesday evening when more clouds will be moving in as our next system approaches the viewing area. That's going to bring us a chance for rain showers on Wednesday night lasting into Thursday. Temperatures will continue to rise into the mid-60s on Wednesday, high of 66 degrees, 62 on Thursday, cooling off into the lower 50s by Friday, mostly cloudy skies, and then we'll have decreasing clouds over the weekend and cooler temperatures. Highs will be in the upper 40s and lower 50s for both Saturday and Sunday. Uh, cooler looking forecast but at least not a